Is it? Yeah, it is. It's Steve. <gasps> oh, I feel bad. Oh, I just, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. What's you guys? My name is Dan, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm playing on MCSG V1. If you don't know what this is, basically, MCSG recently released something where it brought back, you know, the beta version of MCSG from last July and it's like a whole new set of servers with a whole new set of leaderboards where basically uh, it uses the plugin from MCSG beta and I thought I'd do a video on this. I'm playing on my old account because this is just the account I play on most of the time and to be honest more and more people are starting to find out the name of it so it's fine. Uh, I am actually going for like not the top of the leaderboards for MCSG classics just I'm, I'm going to try to get fairly near the top and have some decent stats. At the moment, I've won two out of four games, which is okay. But yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I was I used to play MCSG back in beta. I, I played it in July 2012. Oh, God. I played it in July 2012 back in the day, and um, I really enjoyed playing it, which was amazing. Well, I, I guess I kind of enjoyed playing it. I mean, I wanted to play a Survivor Games server. I just didn't know which one to try, and obviously MCSG was the most popular server at the time, so yeah, that, that's just how that works. So I started playing MCSG a lot, and I was I was really bad at MCSG at the time, but I still enjoyed playing it. I got like eight victories out of 350 games, which is kind of horrible, but uh, what whatevs. And yeah, but it's nice to come back to this and experience all of the all of the cool things that I experienced back in July of 2012. Now that it's like. Uh, November, yes, yeah, November, <laughs> nearly December 2013, a year and a couple of months later, so we're just going to go and grab this. So, this is my chest route, uh, Quantum Tiger also uh, takes this chest route, and you probably saw it in, in his most recent video. He did not take that bowl, however, and I got really annoyed at that when he didn't take the bowl, but I'm going to take it now. Right, I really need some more food, but uh, we should be good, really. Yeah, so, uh, there should be a way in here. Yeah, but when I used to play back in the day, I really wasn't a good player at all. I didn't know any chess routes at all, and uh, yeah, I was just a horrible player in general. And to be honest, I don't think it was my like my PvP or my connection or anything like that that let me down. I think the thing that let me down most is that I didn't know chess routes and stuff, and I just wasn't very good at tactics, I guess. And there better be some food in here. Yes, there are. I mean, yes, there is, should I say. <laughs> I was really bad at English. But yeah, so some stuff that I should really talk about, like... Uh, you guys have probably noticed that I've not been uploading much recently, you know, a couple, maybe three videos a week I've been uploading, maybe even less than that. It's been like four days since I uploaded my most recent one. Um, and of course I need to, wait, where am I going? Where am I? Oh my god, this is confusing. Um, this, of course I need to notify you guys of this. Uh, I have not quit YouTube as some people may have thought. I need to get to the... Flippin' hell. Um, I actually do genuinely get lost on this map still after the amount of times that I have still played it. Yeah, I need to go this way. Um, I still get lost sometimes. It's fine though. Right, I could be using 1.7 Sprint, but uh, I've opted to go with the Optifine because it's better for me to record when I have Optifine installed. Uh, oh my god, my shift is set to wrong. So, I, I have to use Double Tap at the moment because I'm not in 1.7, but you know, whatever. Um, I, I'm good enough at Double Tapping. Well, with this keyboard actually, I'm pretty bad at it but I'm getting a new keyboard for Christmas which I'm excited about oh well or when I get enough money I don't know which one will come first but whatevs <laughs> I keep saying whatevs I don't really know what what's yeah I don't know what that's all about whatevs I guess lol I said it again to make a joke about me saying it uh, there is a tier 2 if I come and jump over here this is parkour tree that isn't really that hard and I nearly failed then <laughs> yeah so Basically what I was saying was, uh, I haven't quit YouTube, as some people may have thought. I'm just not uploading as much, and I really need to restart my channel, I guess, because uh, I've made quite a lot of mistakes, should I say, in the past with, you know, um, greeting fans in games and stuff like that. And um, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to team with fans at all in games still. I've not still changed my concept on that, but I'm, I'm kind of changing my, my viewpoint on things like that, because... Um, I made a fan Skype a while ago and it didn't really go out that well because I, I didn't use it that much which was kind of kind of disappointing in my opinion and of, co of course in your guys' opinion as well. I didn't really use my fan Skype that much uh, even though I like created it and everything. 
and I, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of create it so people would stop adding me on my main Skype, but um, I'm gonna take a different approach to this. I'm basically gonna start accepting anyone who adds me on my main Skype. I'm not gonna give out the name, but I'm not gonna give out the name to my main Skype. However, anyone who does know it, then I, w I will just go ahead and accept you because uh, I just want to take a different approach to this. I just want to, I guess, kind of restart the whole attitude towards uh, everything and yeah, I feel as if that is kind of necessary for my channel if uh, if that makes much sense and yeah, so something that I should say is uh, well, I, I don't know how to really to get this out but like Oh, there's a chest here. This is a tier 2, I think. Wait, there is a chest somewhere. I know it's somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Uh, this is the problem. I haven't really taken this route that much. I just know that there is a chest somewhere. Maybe it's out here. I really don't know. Just, it's just... Oh, no, it's not. Just bear with me a little bit, guys. Um, Yeah, what I was going to say was I'm not enjoying Minecraft as much as I used to. Well, by that, I mean, I guess I'm not... I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying playing uh, MCSG and... Not quite as much hive anymore, but yeah, so there's a problem with that, and that is because uh, that is that I may have to quit hive. Well, yeah, I guess I kind of already have quit hive. I've really like stopped playing hive already, and um, that's disappointing. Seen as hive is what? Whoa, that was weird. My voice just went weird. Lol. Uh, seen as hive is just uh, the server where I started, you could say, and. Is a shame for me to have to quit, but I'm gonna say for now I have quit the hive, like, yeah, just properly. And oh, we got some nice music here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off because it's really loud. Right, I've never actually been up here before, but I always see people going up here, so I know it's safe. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna be playing more MCSG. Uh, this is partly because lots, of, lots of the people who I play Minecraft with are uh, starting to play MCSG. Uh, Quantum Tiger is an example of that. You guys have probably all seen his video, because I'm, I'm sure most people subscribe to me or also subscribe to him. He's got 1,200 subs now, I think. And that reminds me, uh, Crucial Games TV, shout out to him, just hit 1,000 subs. So, congratulations to him. I like to give out a little congrats. And, yeah, something else that I should be doing more in the future is recording with different people. Because um, that's something that I don't do that often. I don't record with anyone at all really i mean i mean every now and then i might upload a video with quantum or well yeah and uh that's not that's not up to scratch is it no you guys want to see you guys want to see more duo comps actually no I, I don't really know what you guys actually want um did i take this i know i took a chest but oh yeah <laughs> what, am I, what am i talking about of course i took that well I, I don't know whether you guys want to see more duo comps or not and if you're wondering why i'm using the default text pack oh Give me that armor, give me that armor. He, he's gonna die, isn't he? Yes, he died! <gasps> no, I'm gonna die! No, I'm not. Yeah, so, I just wanna say sorry to Yoni, who is the creator of my texture pack. Oh, wooden door. <gasps> oh, 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 that is, that is, that is, that is, that is a diamond sword. Uh, run, run, double tap, double tap, run. Uh, there was some good stuff on the floor there. Yeah, there was lots of good stuff on the floor there that I could have used, but... Right, we're just going to knock it back. Yeah, he's not putting on the good stuff. Okay, if I can regen, then I've won this fight easy. Actually, no, I don't need to regen. I got this. Oh, that that that, that connection, though. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that hit that I just got? That is absolutely crazy. Uh, seven tributes remain. It does go to deathmatch at two tributes. So, we've got a little bit of a wait to go before deathmatch. But I should have enough entertaining commentary to keep you guys uh, entertained. Hopefully. If I don't, then that's a bit of a problem. But, you know, whatevs. <laughs> I don't know why I've started saying whatevs, it's weird. Oh well. Alright, so I've got a decent armor now, six bars and a diamond sword, which is good. Uh, for those of you who play Hive, you're used to just running and getting full iron, or no, full chain, stone sword maybe, full iron maybe, depending on which map you're on. And for those of you who play MCSG, you're used to just getting full iron and diamond sword easy peasy. But, um, I keep saying bottom, it's really annoying, but it's just natural by now. So, yeah, basically... MCSG V1. It's more of survival. You've probably been noticing I've been getting like rotten flesh and stuff. I always take the rotten flesh just because I feel as if it's worth it. And yeah, stuff like that. Uh, there should be a way I can. Oh, I want to organize it like that. <gasps> yes, I have to organize my inventory like perfectly or whatever because I really hate having a really unorganized inventory. And that's pretty org. Oh, that's pretty organized if you ask me. Well, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a boat here. Actually, so I could get rid of the other boat. I'm pretty sure the guy who made this diamond sword went to Pink House because there is a, a tier 2 at Pink House, which I'm pretty sure 
always has two diamonds. So if you want to get a diamond sword, then go to pink house. Oh, wow. Did I actually get that hit or was that just fall damage? I'm not even sure. Right, we're just going to chase this guy. He, he's got a bow. He's going to turn around and try shoot us. I have just made a massive mistake going that way. Uh, let's run through here. Oh, big boy. Ah, I hate people who just run like this. Come on, dude. Put up a fight. I know I have completely superior stuff, but put up a fight. Like, this is boring, just running away. And to be honest, I don't really want to give up. Okay, we can both eat. Wait, is he coming for me? I don't, I don't think he is at all. Right. Oh, 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 yeah, my connection seems pretty good to M6G now. It's, it's definitely gotten a lot better than it used to be, which is good. I wouldn't usually get those hits. Actually, no. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, because back in the day, I had really bad internet, and now I've got good internet. And it's been a long time since I've played M6G just like this, but yeah. Right, I'm, I can easily get this guy. I'm still GG 10 hearts. He's probably like 6 hearts now, seven, uh, 5. I don't know how low I got him. Diamond Sword does do. Oh, big mistake, buddy. There we go. GG to him. Uh, let's throw this out. Let's combine that just so we have the certain full durability. We have six tributes remaining, so that means four people need to die. And we ought to be running to corn. I'm not 100% sure how you get out of here. Yeah, I haven't really explored all of this map. For the amount of times that I've played it, I haven't explored it all. And I really don't know my way around. The same goes for SG1. On the hive... I know SG1 really well, but it's, it's it's quite a lot different. It's so much smaller on the Hive than it is on MCSG, and I know it like off by heart on the Hive because it's it's just so small and easy to to know. But on MCSG, it's a bit different. Yeah. So at the moment, MCSG Classic only has SG1 and SG2. A lot of people have been complaining about this. They've been wanting SG3 and Breeze and Overgrown Arena and all of the good old maps like that. <laughs> I said Breeze really weirdly. Then that was cool. Um, and yeah, so it's only got two maps at the moment. And to be honest, I want it just to keep these two maps. Because in my opinion, the, the two maps that it has, SG1 and SG2, they're the best two maps. And they're the ones I want it to... They're the ones I want to keep. Because they're just good. They're, they're big. They're nice PvP. Is that guy? Is it? Yeah, it is. It's Steve. <gasps> oh, I feel bad. Oh, I just, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. He was holding shift, probably starving to death, except for he had food. Oh, don't you just feel bad when you do that, guys? You've got to admit, that that is kind of, yeah. Flint and Steels also only have one charge. It's something I should point out. I said that because I'm about to make Flint and Steels, but... They only have one charge, so I could only use that once, and then it would be gone forever. I'm just going to pick up this. Just in case we need it, I doubt we will need it, and... There we go. Um, right, we're just waiting for refill here. Slash TL. I'm pretty sure refills are at 47 minutes. So that's 1.2 minutes left. Which is in mathematics. Actually, no. I don't know how much that is in mathematical terms. 60 divided by 5 is about... Uh, 30 seconds. No, that's completely wrong. I don't even know. Yeah, it is 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing maps on camera. It's the weekend, guys. Yeah, so... Um, I'm going to be trying to upload more than I, I've been doing. I'm going to go sub daily, which is basically every other day. I'm going to try upload every other day because I feel as if that, that works well. And if not, every day. And if I don't manage to upload every other day, like I'm kind of promising here, then I, I would definitely... I, well, well, I always forget what I'm going to say. It's so awkward. Uh, I, if I... <laughs> If I um, don't upload every other day, then I I'd, I'd really don't know what's my problem. Because, I, I, to be honest, I do have enough spare time. The, on, the only thing that's stopping me from uploading daily or sub-daily or whatever you want me to do is the fact that I don't play Minecraft enough. I've been playing a lot of League of Legends recently. A lot of you guys know this. A lot of you guys probably don't agree with the fact that I'm playing League of Legends over Minecraft. But uh, I, I'm just having more fun with it at the moment. And... Yeah, I can see myself in the future quitting Minecraft, but I'm going to try my best to stop this from happening because obviously I really I really don't want to quit Minecraft because that would be a real shame. It would be a terrible shame if you ask me. Oh, GG, the, the cake dough, the cake. Need to switch those around. Right, my inventory's starting to get full. It's time for me to... Wait, why was that chest empty? I did not take that, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I'm just being blind. Blind as a fox, is that even how it was? Works. Blind as a mole, maybe. I, d I don't know. Uh, I'm going to run to Pink House, because I'm pretty sure there are two diamonds then. I'm just going to make a couple of arrows. Alright, we've got enough stuff, and yeah. 
we can withhold this game completely. How many people left? Uh, slash list. There are five people left. Nobody's spectating either. So three more people to deathmatch. These games last a freaking long time, if you ask me. And uh, this is just how it used to be back in the day. Basically, it deathmatch is at two people, which is <laughs> which it should be three or four, but two is just too low. Um, too yeah, it's too low of a number and. Also, the uh, force deathmatch doesn't go until 60 minutes and an hour long game before force deathmatch. That's just insane, just running around for an hour not doing anything. I really don't want that to happen. Do you think anyone's in Pink House? I don't even know. If someone traps me in, that would be so funny. Yeah, I, I always trap people in Pink House because they, they like rush it and I, I just come up behind them and, and I'm, I just run up, pull the lever and then they're screwed because the <gasps> name tags, that's more important than Pink House. Let's go. Because I, I can't lose this person, otherwise this game is just going to last for so freaking long. Where's he gone? Oh, I don't see I've lost him. Oh, no, he's there. Yeah, I can still see his name. Come on, double tap. Hopefully nobody else is stacked. Oh, nice. Leather armor, bro. I thought it was gold at first, and I thought it was, you know, fairly stacked. Oh, that fishing rod dough. Get, in, get into the wall. Well, my, my connection in 1.7 is actually so much better than it is in 1.6, so I should realistically, uh, if I want to be doing better be playing in 1.7 but I, I like the optifine I kind of need it to record on decent frames because my PC isn't exactly extraordinary oh the snipe oh the snipe the snipe no you're kidding me I swear that I just went through him no I'm not letting this guy get away oh he's even out of my vision oh he's, he's strafing into the side okay he's slowing down slightly but still I should have hit those shots they were like easy peasy shots to hit it's probably a guy at Con just cleaning up all the scraps that I didn't pick up. Has he has he just run into Con really? Yeah, he he just did that like full on. He, oh, that's actually a good tactic. He's he's trying to lose me, isn't he? Um, yeah, I, I actually don't know where he's gone. Oh, is that his name? Yeah, that's him. That's him. Okay. Oh, get on top of Con, blood. That, that's really gonna work. We're just gonna get our stake out. Wow, I didn't expect him to move to the side. No. Wow, I had trouble hitting in them, but I got him in the end. It's good. All right, two more people to go. This game so far has been fairly good. I've, I've dominated pretty much, as a good old Blamp would say. Actually, that's something I should mention. Blamp is actually the biggest inspiration for me for survival, playing survival games. He's the one who inspired me to play it back in the day. When he used to be number one on the MCSG leaderboards, uh, it was it was a great because, yeah. Yeah, he used to be number one on the MCSG leaderboards. I'd watch his videos because people seem to tend to like people high up on the leaderboards. I'm pretty sure that's why people like like me. And yeah, then there's also people who don't like me. And I'm sure a lot less people will like me now that I'm not uploading as much. But I, I'm not that bothered really, as long as I still have a couple of people just sitting there, just like, "What up, kids? I'm watching Sim Herbert's video." All right, there we go. We have two people left. Um, this map is so huge. I wouldn't know where to look first, but I'm going to look over here. Yeah, I do feel sorry for people with bad PCs because first of all, they will probably lag on this map because of because of the big buildings and stuff. And then second of all, they won't be able to have their render distance high enough to see which way they're going out of con, so they have to like judge it off their F three F three menu. And yeah, but I I can just look around to see where I want. I remember. Oh, I'm gonna run my old chess route just for a bit of nostalgia for you guys, just to show you what I used to do and how newbie I was. I would. I would I would get to corn. My run distance would generally be high enough to see, um, even though it's not at the moment. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> All right, yeah, I would I would look for this building, the Free Ink building. It's actually a guy who I used to play with called Storm Master Junior, or Jordanix Master, and he he showed me this route, even though it's pretty pretty terrible. Uh, he used to be bad at survival games as well as me, so he all worked out to the best. He was better than me though, and he, yeah, I would run this way. I would. I, I take this route on Hive, by the way, because, yeah, so anyone who plays Hive and needs an SG2 route, come this way, because it has loads of tier 1s, and getting tier 1s on Hive isn't a problem, because you get good enough stuff, however, on this, tier 1s actually suck, so I'd run up here, I would, I would get this chest, I would probably get some mushrooms, I would run down here, oh, this, this, this actually does bring me back, though, because... Oh, I used to be such a noob. I would always use to camp in those trees over there until refill. I was such a noob. I can't believe it. I would just camp in, in, in the trees over. Oh my god, I can't grab this. Oh, I did grab it. Uh, I would always camp over in the trees over there until refill, and then jump down and get all this tier two, tier ones again. 
I meant to say, and yeah, so I would run over here, I would grab this. At first, I would run around this building, then I found a couple of chests inside the building. Uh, somebody else died, that's good. I found two chests inside this building, there's also a vent sort of thing downstairs, but there's a code to it, and I do not currently know the code. I would assume that it's 1337, that sort of rings a bell because that's leet and uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense for it to be that, but I would run over here, I'd get all these tier 1s, it would generally provide me with full leather iron swords because that's just what tier 1s get you. Uh, I'm just going to run over here and yeah, I would come out this way. This is actually really nostalgic route for me, oh my god, the amount of times I played this, because SG2 was always voted, it was always SG2, and the amount of times I would just run this route and I'd get absolutely screwed over by a guy in full iron who took Blump's chest route, because Blump's chest route is the best, I would get that chest and then I would run through here, oh I remember this so well, I'd break this leaf and then I'd get this one, yeah, I, I genuinely remember this so well, this is great actually, just, just rerunning this route, I would... I would find my way through here, I would probably break some leaves because it's not exactly breaking anything and yeah I would just I would just find my way through here, I'd probably spend ages knowing me being a noob and then I would run into this building, I, I think I would run through the middle and yeah yeah I'd run through the middle, I'd get up here if it's possible, yeah it is possible. I get up here, then I would go into this room. Oh, this chest route is so good, isn't it? I get another tier one there. I don't even need that actually. Uh, get another tier one there. Then I would, um, I'd run over here and I would grab a tier one there, and then that that would pretty much be it. But then later on, as I started to realise that my chest route was pretty bad, because I started watching more videos on survival games, because I knew that I wasn't very. Oh, that, that's actually a good. Great, I should think about coming here in the future because three iron ingots, that could come in useful if I'm like starved of stuff or something. But yeah, so once I realised my chest route was crap, I would run up here. I would I would rush clock tower basically. Well, actually no, I'd go into this building first. This was a pretty popular route at the time, just not quite as many people took it as Pink House or Blant Fruit and I'd run in here. This used to be a tier two and to be honest I still think it should be. And then I would grab this. Let's grab that, and that that used to be a double tier two, which was always which would always provide me well for the upcoming game. And then I'd run all the way up to Clock Tower, which is um, it takes a long time, but there used to be a tier two on top, and it used to be worth it if you ask me. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed that little reminiscing of my old MCSG roots. I do actually have a couple of videos of me playing Survivor games, however, um, I don't think I recorded any SG two. I don't think. I recorded SG1 and Breeze Island a couple of times, uh, but other than that, I don't seem to remember recording any SG2, which is a bit of a shame, but yeah, so the couple of <laughs> the couple of videos that I recorded, you know, back in the day when this when this version of m 6 was actually official, um, I, I didn't win any games. I uploaded a couple of videos. I didn't win in any of them. I died pretty much from starvation or just from... Yeah, I am pretty sure I died of starvation in them, and I thought that I was decent at some other games. Well, when I say decent, I mean I didn't think I was like such a noob. Cause like now, if I saw someone starving to death, I'd be I'd be just standing there, just like huh, noob. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So one person needs to die. One person, and this is why I think that they should make it go to death. <gasps> oh, that was weird. I was sure I saw someone then. That that is so creepy. Oh my god. I was sure I saw someone just appear then in like gold armor and stuff. I don't know whether that was just like my game glitching out, but that was really that was really creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I need I really need to know what the time is because I've been recording this for so long. Uh, I'm just gonna camp in the trees, because if I camp in the trees, then there's probably gonna be someone running into corn like her look at me, I could get corn refill. Hur. Yeah, this is really long time. I might end up cutting it to Yeah, I might end up cutting it to the point where it actually to the point where it actually uh, ends. Because this is going to be really boring for you guys to watch, and I'm sure it has got boring already. Well, anyone who's still watching, obviously, drop a comment saying poll or something like that. You, you guys all know how the poll works. Poll. Yeah. Poll's actually one of those things I, I, I kind of invented. I didn't really. It was someone at my school, actually, and I just started saying it on, on the interwebs because it was sort of a fresh thing. And then everyone started saying it, and it, it's just funny. Poll, yeah. 
Oh, free ink. Yeah, I would always look at that and look like, is that the building with the free ink? Yes, it was. I never looked to see if it was north or whatever it was. Yeah, I would always use the crafting table at the end of that road as well. Oh, God. I, I, yeah, I can't believe how much of a noob we are. I was, but everyone was a noob at one point. Even, actually, no. That's a lie. People like Blamp were. I keep referring to Blamp, but he's just a really nostalgic person for me. Um, yeah. Uh, he was a noob at one point. I think he said in one of his videos a long time ago that uh, he first started playing survival games because... Uh, he wanted to play a game that was... No, I'll, I'll start again. He started playing Minecraft because he wanted to play a Hunger Games-like game. And Minecraft was obviously pretty much the only Hunger Games game I know. I know there's a Gmod plugin for it, but I'm pretty sure that's horrible. But yeah, so he started playing Minecraft and of course he was a noob because he barely knew how to craft a sword. And everyone was like that when they first started playing Minecraft. Like, the first time I played Minecraft... I didn't know to chop down a tree, you had to hold down left click. I thought you just had to spam click it, and I was there for like literally two minutes uh, trying to chop down a tree, which is kind of interesting. I, I thought it would just like gradually, gradually break down. So then I looked up how to break a tree in Minecraft or something like that, and I actually, I actually got it. I found that they had to hold down, and I quickly got to grasp with the mechanics. Yeah, I think I don't think I explained earlier. Um, the reason I'm using default is because I just feel like I need a bit of a fresh start on YouTube. By which I mean, uh, it, it, I guess it's kind of boring looking at the same resource pack all the time. Oh, I put those in there. I got a bit worried. No. I didn't put those in there. Who's been? Who's been here? Right, I'm just going to go, hello. Last list. There's my old name, by the way. Lol. <laughs> everyone, pre everyone pretty much... Bleh, can't speak. Pretty much everyone knows it. But if you see this alt in a game, then it's not necessarily me. Because I, I share this account with like four different people. And yeah, so if you see it, if you see it in a game, it's not necessarily me. So everyone take that into consideration, because um, the people who I've given the account to keep telling me that people are like fanboying over them, even though it's not me and whatever. So yeah, so this is boring. Uh, I'm just gonna admit that, and yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that I'm still playing and I'm still recording, and I'm, I still have stuff to talk about. I barely have anything, any topics to talk about. I've just been. Oh, winging it a little bit. Um, what what do we need? We need a chest plate. I'm pretty sure there won't be a chest plate because I'm pretty sure well, <laughs> uh, the chests aren't randomised. But I don't know. I don't exactly know if the corn chests are randomised or not. They might be. All right, we can make. I was gonna say we can make diamond. Oh, if we go to pink house, we'll be able to make diamond boots. Maybe there'll be a guy at pink house. I really don't know. Uh, pink house is this way. All right. This game's going on for so long. Uh, lots of people were complaining that MCSG Classic was taking too long, and I was sitting there just like, ah, it's not too long. It usually goes over within, you know, 25 minutes, but <laughs> this has been going on for too long now, and this is the first game that I've I've had. It's been going on for... Has this video seriously been half an hour? If it has, then wow. Yeah, guys, get commenting, pal, because I need to know who's watched this far and who I can give a shout-out to in my... Wait, no, I'm not giving any shout-outs. Lol. Yeah, that's actually a thing that I also need to mention for those of you who keep wanting to, like, rec not not necessarily me, but want to record with big YouTubers, like, are asking them to record with them. I suggest not, unless it's, like, a really big YouTuber, of course. But, like, say say you wanted to record with me, you have, like, 100 subs, I have 4,000. Um, say you wanted to record with me, then I, I really don't, I really, I really don't, don't suggest actually asking them to, wow, someone's been here already, there must be someone nearby. I really don't suggest asking them to record with you because th that's just going to bring you fake subs. And even though having, you know, maybe you, maybe you'll get 200 subs from it, say, um, maybe having 200 subs will seem cool. Most of those are going to be inactive. Uh, a prime example of this, a lot of you guys might know, is Tuan2456. I, I don't know the numbers. It's got seven in there, probably. Um, and, yeah, he got shout out from In The Little Wood, and that actually boosted him up to... 1,000 subscribers and getting to 1,000 subscribers as quick as he did was absolutely insane. However, now all of his subs are really inactive, and if anything, he's losing subs every day, which is kind of annoying him, I guess. And yeah, it, it just kind of broke his channel the fact that he got a shout out from a big YouTuber. I just heard someone walking near me. No, I didn't. That was just my own footsteps. Okay, uh, that's great. I'm getting bored, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this has been going on for so long. Oh my god, I'm gonna make some more arrows just because I can. Uh, let, let's get ty typing in the chat. Hello, anybody out there? 
I really need to know where the enchantment table is on this map. If anyone knows where the enchantment table is on this map, please drop a comment or something. Because when I play on the hi on the hive, I always get levels. I, I get like multiple levels every time, and yeah. So let let's jump over here. Let's drop an arrow creation. Let's pick these up. Oh, exactly how I wanted them to go. Actually, no. I should be there. All right. Thirty seconds till death match. Oh, somebody died. Yes, somebody died. Oh my God, praise the Lord. Imagine if someone came and picked that up now. That'd be funny. 360 no scope. All right, in deathmatch, I'm going to get at least one 360, and then we should be done. It would do slash records, actually. I do have two out of four games. I think I mentioned that at the start of the video. So now I'll have three out of five, which is a very good ratio. Lots of people are, like, because it's a fresh start, a fresh leaderboard, lots of people are showing their skill by getting good ratios. That's not even a gold chest plate, it's just a level one. So he knows he's screwed since I have seven bars diamond sword. He has, what, five and a half, but... GG! Okay, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the MCSG Classic. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment for more, and also say pow in the comments. See you next time. Goodbye!